The march of a woman to the top of the Naval Academy's graduating class signals the respect women have earned. The second in command of the 4300 member brigade, Christine Holderreed of Maryland, won the distinction for her military performance as well as grades. The midshipman's graduating class of a thousand contains 63 women. Company! Left turn! March! The novelty of the presence of women has worn off since their admission eight years ago. Annapolis still remains a predominantly male institution. Women shoulder the pressures of keeping their feminine identities in a very macho world. Deborah Schroyer, a junior from Big Spring, Texas, says there were some prejudices until the guys got to know her. Now she's considered just another midshipman. The things I've gotten to do since I've been here, I've gotten to fly in jets and helicopters, fire machine guns. I mean, it's really interesting. It's better than just going to the supermarket and going home and going to school. More and more young people want to march to the disciplined beat of military life. Applications this year marked an 11-year high for the academy. There are some highly motivated women out there, and if if we don't tap that resource, we're making a big mistake and their urge to really do good and help the country is what we need to take advantage of. The acceptance of women at the nation's service academies has become a fact of demographic trends. The number of eligible 18-year-old men has declined due to a low birth rate in the late 60s. Thus, the military services expect a recruiting crunch. More jobs, excluding combat assignments, may have to be turned over to women to keep pace with President Reagan's defense buildup. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News, Annapolis, Maryland.